All right. This is Joanna with uh, Adventures of Miss Peach. And I want to have a serious conversation. And I don't know where to begin. I was going to take notes down. But as is this conversation about having ADD, I just chose not to and to just go ahead and spill it all out. Um, I wanted to have a discussion about adult ADD. Um, I know that it is not as taboo to talk about people having depression, ADD, anxiety like it used to. But I feel still feel like there's a lot of shame in a way that goes along with these topics. And... I've been one to suffer from depression, and I've definitely been vocal about that with most anybody that knows me, um, and maybe not as vocal about having ADD, but I'm not being medicated for that. I use coping mechanisms, although I am medicated for my depression, and that's been a godsend. Um, that's a whole other subject we could talk about, but right now... Um, I just want people who are going through some of the symptoms or some of the things that I struggle with, um, you know, sometimes you have the racing thoughts, sometimes you're just scatterbrained and you may be messy. Here are some things that I am, and I don't think it represents all people with that have attention deficit disorder. And I don't think that everybody like you can have ADD and not have these things and then you can um I should be looking at the camera but you can also have these things and not have ADD but I think that sometimes these go together I have definitely been accused of being um impulsive before um being impatient being argumentative um, maybe not having any inhibition, not any, um, but you know, maybe I need to work on some of my inhibitions, um, not being patient. Um, I've accused, been accused of a lot of other things. I've been accused of being tenacious, which I think my, my impatient side that was their way of being nice. I was trying to pursue a job and they're like, boy, you're tenacious. And I'm like, well, you know, um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I've been accused of being a lot of things. But as I was thinking about all this and it was stirring up in my brain, I was driving down the road. I'm like, I need to do a video about this. But no, I need to wait till I have my hair coiffed and my makeup done and I'm not my best self right now. And no, I'll always end up waiting. So I ended up putting some lipstick on and some mascara and that's it. This is the real deal. This is second day hair. I'm okay with not having had a shower today. I worked at home. Um, at one job, I, um, it's a long story, but I had been getting like $15 an hour and Evidently, the person who did it before me made less money and did it faster than me. They said I did a great job at what I did. I just took too long. And it had to do with money, commissions, and stuff like that. And I, like, definitely probably got distracted and, like, had to go over things a couple times. And they came to me and said, um, we think that, you know, it's really only worth $11 an hour. This was years ago, 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And I felt so incompetent that I could not do the same job as well as the other person did in the same amount of time that I ended up just quitting because I was embarrassed, you know. Um, that was hard. That was hard. Um, I'm not really a quitter, but I will say this. There are a lot of things, and here's another thing with people with maybe ADHD or ADD. 
Um, I've started a lot of things that I haven't finished. Now, if it's a project like painting something or staining something or whatever, most of the time I, I finish those. It's like I want to see the end product that gives me the satisfaction. If it's, you know, projects at work, I'm finishing those. But yes, there have been multiple things that I get gung-ho on and I start and give up just like a lot of people do or I get bored of it and I move on. That's definitely something that I've come to realize in my life is that I get bored easily. And this year, I don't want to make this a really too long video. It's already five minutes, but this year I have just felt like the word of the year is acceptance. There's a lot of things in my life that I need to accept um, or just come to a point. It's not, it has nothing to do with about being content. It's about accepting that certain things may not change rather than hoping that they will and then being disappointed that it doesn't. You know what I mean? Um, but what's interesting is I saw this, um, I saw this bumper sticker that said, um, accept the things you cannot change, but then it was marked out and it was like, change the things you cannot accept. And I thought, you know what? That's me. As many things as I have control of to change, I need to work on those things. I'm a strong Christian, a believer. We need to seek the Lord, seek guidance, um, and definitely get our answers about many things from the Lord. But if there's no specific answer on how you need to proceed, proceed about something, then I don't think there's anything wrong with just going full force. And here's an example. I'm working on this YouTube channel. This is my new, going to be my new branding, my Miss Peach, Adventures of Miss Peach. Um, I changed it from Joanna's RV Travels because I'm going to talk about lifestyle things. I'm going to talk about um, self-improvement. My, I'm going to have a big trip that I'm going to go cross country or almost cross country. Um, and it's going to be my car camping. That's why I have mattress stuff back here. I'm gathering from my friends. And um, it's going to be about my life in a truck camper that I have right now. So there's going to be lots of pieces of things that I'd like to share with people. Do I consider myself an influencer? Is it that I want to be famous? No. You know what? My end goal is that in several years when I, re it's not retiring from teacher, from teaching, but after I finish my 10 years so I can be vested for retirement, I want to travel. And this would be a job that would allow me to travel. Um, the one thing that I have stuck to <laughs> and have not changed on is I have been interested in tiny home living and I've been interested in travel for a long time, six, seven years. And I've always stuck with that. Um, but I have recognized I do get bored of things. I tried odds and ends jobs all over the place. Anything to bring in some extra money. Um, right now I'm door dashing, which I really like. But I've done a lot of things. Um, and sometimes I think that I feel like people see that as being flighty or not sticking to things. I have moved many times and I think that I have been accused or it's been assumed that I'm never content or that I'm always looking for the next thing around the corner or I'm living in the future for whatever my plans are. And you know what? There's a little bit of truth to that, but overall, I like to have different experiences, and I'm okay with that. I've realized living in a small thing, my camper right now, I really enjoy. I've had to endure people laughing at me that I live in a tiny space, and I say I live tiny and kind of minimalist, yet I have five storage uh, places. Well, it's a lot less than what I had before, and I'm still getting rid of stuff, and some of it's my kids, and whatever, whatever, but I still like my life, you know? I think a lot of people don't understand 
when I was looking at a year ago, gosh, a year, I don't even know, a year and a half ago, at moving one of my close friends, um, when I told her I wanted to sell my townhome and move out into an RV, I don't think that she thought it was a wise idea. And you know what? I moved forward anyway. I had prayed about it. I felt comfortable with it. And you can't always please everybody else. You can't, you've got to own what's good for you. And kind of like, instead of accepting the things I can't change, I'm gonna change the things I cannot accept. I might not have a lot of extra money to go travel as a teacher, but you know what? I'm gonna go on a car camping trip this summer because you know what? I can. I don't really have to answer to anybody else and I'm gonna take advantage of that. And it's okay if I'm impulsive sometimes. Yes, I need to make sure I'm being responsible, that I'm being thoughtful, that I'm being loving towards other people, that I'm taking care of my family. Uh, but most of them, you know, my kids are 18 and older and they're pretty much out on their own. So I feel like as long as I'm making decisions that are um, not contradictory to those things, then it's okay. Um, I just took this, or I didn't take the Enneagram test, but I watched a video on it, uh, yesterday, or not watched, it was a podcast. Anyway, um, I think I'm a number seven, but I kind of resented the fact that that was the only personality that had to do with a bucket that had empty holes in it and that the person's trying to fill the holes. Why does it always have to be that we're trying to fill ourselves up with other things i what's wrong with just wanting to have fun what's wrong with wanting to distract ourselves from the mundane i deal with depression and one coping mechanism is that it's good to distract yourself from thinking about the negative things and dwelling on negative things and i have learned that is a huge coping mechanism that works well for me. Is it avoiding? No. I am more self-reflective than probably most people are, but you know what? I don't want to just lay at home and think about the things that I'm, could be bothering me. So instead, I'm going to watch TV or I'm going to watch YouTube videos or I'm going to do whatever. Well, then I don't want to just do that all the time, which easily I can be lazy and just sit around and do that and be content which scares me. So now I'm like, no, I need to make some goals. I need to have some personal th goals that I want to hit and meet. And like I'm doing this door dashing to save money to go on the trip or to use towards supplies and this, that, and the other. And like today I'm like, I don't want to go home till I've made $30 and you know, et cetera, et cetera. I guess I'm just saying that a lot of us may have ADD it may manifest itself in negative ways. There may be impulsivity. There may be people that are real talkative, people that interrupt. I resemble a lot of that. Um, but with that said, my heart is always where I don't want to hurt anybody else. I want to love on other people. Um, I don't know. I just don't think we need to feel bad about having ADD and knowing we get distracted and maybe daydream or like I'm in the middle of work and I'm thinking about other stuff. And, you know, fortunately, I'm not one of those people who can't go to sleep at night. I can turn it off at night. Thank the Lord. That's really a blessing. But I know a lot of people just their minds go and go and go and go. But I have my notes that I write things down in all the time on my phone, kind of get it out. Just like right now. I don't even know if I'm going to use this video, but I had to get it out. My mind was going that I knew that if I didn't video right now, that I would perseverate on these thoughts until I did something about it. Till I wrote it all out, till I videoed. And I feel like that's what my life with ADD is. Um, it's thinking about things over and over until I can do something about it. So that's why I do tons of investigating on van life. 
that's what my mind is on the moment. Or, you know, maybe it's on car camping or maybe it was RV living or maybe it's tiny homes or whatever. At least I have a theme. Um, whereas other people, I think, just think that I'm never happy or never satisfied. And that's not it. I'm content right now. Like, things are fine in my life. I'm I'm happy for all intents and purposes. I'm I'm happy. I'm healthy and everything is going well. But is this the end all be all? No. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Why do I have to feel like um, contentment needs to be just status quo is okay? You would never have all these famous people that succeed and, and are driven if they were always just content with the status quo. And I feel like that's why so many people that are successful or have achieved great things they have persevered and kept pushing and pushing and pushing and that's why I'm starting this YouTube channel up again and rebranding so I can bring my little peach around and be corny and talk about you know the adventures that we have um, and the life experiences and so people can just know that there's somebody authentic and raw out here that will just maybe say what somebody else is thinking um but hasn't put it into words or just so they're not alone so they don't feel alone um i like to make people laugh do i need to get my acceptance from that no um anyway i went way too long 16 minutes it's time to get back on my door dashing i paused it so I just hope this will resonate with someone and you know I keep thinking oh I need to wait till I have all these videos and this that, and the other I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm putting this up you know I want to start doing three videos a week and really build my channel I'd like to get monetized and all of that um and it may not happen I feel like a failure that it didn't that I didn't do what I needed to do last year but I've learned better ways and other things that I need to do to hopefully make it succeed. And if not, at least I'll know that I've tried. So anyway, I do know that I stand behind the phrase live intentionally and be blessed. So I feel like we do need to be intentional about what we do, about what we say, how we love other people, how we live life. And in turn, I know that we will be blessed. Have a good one.